Hello, Too Cool Stamping friends. This is Angie here with Too Cool Stamping, and we're here with our live class for this week. A day later than normal, uh, I had something come up yesterday, a little, we had a, a pet emergency for a pet that's staying with us, but everything's fine. I just happened to all go down right at the time that I would have normally been uh, doing my live. So anyway, we're here today. I am so excited. This is our final live class before the end of celebration 2020 and so i was looking through the different stamp sets and all the things that are available during celebration and trying to figure out what i wanted to do the class on and i realized there's so many swap cards that i have and a couple of cards that i hadn't shown you shown you yet um so i just thought i would kind of change this class up a little bit and um, I'm gonna show you how to make a couple of the cards. One of the cards I've already uh, featured on my Too Cool Stamping blog, but um, the other one I haven't, and the other one that I haven't actually has a couple of things that are no longer available that you would need to make it, but I just wanted to show you so much because I loved it. So you'll have to forgive me that some of the products may not be exactly um, available the way I would have liked them, but we have some alternative ways that we can put them together. But I just wanted you to see a couple of these final projects before these products are gone for good. Um, and I do believe most of the time the celebration products are gone for good after celebration. Now, occasionally we do have something like a punch or um, possibly a stamp set, maybe an embossing folder that carries over, but I do not have any information on that at the moment. So um, so I did wanna to talk to you about that. So celebration lasts through March 31st and then it is done. Don't forget we have three different releases of celebration products that you can choose from. So we have our original flyer and I, ha I have all of these linked on my website, toocoolstamping.com. If you wanna take a look, this is the time to check it out. Make sure that you've gotten all of your favorites before they are gone. Um, so we have this first celebration flyer. We had a second release for several more products available. Then just a couple of days ago, we had a third release, Just and these are items that are from the annual catalog. Um, they just are, you know, if you've gotten everything that you wanted out of the two previous flyers, then you can go ahead and select something from the annual catalog. So all of these are linked on toocoolstamping.com. You can find those easily. And um, you can either, there's two different levels, remember? So if you order $50 worth of product, there's level one products that you can choose from. If you order $100 worth of product, there are level two products that you can choose from for free. So we have all of those products and they're going to be going away. And we're just gonna assume they're all going away because I have no, no knowledge of other thing, of other than that, that any are staying. I really hope the stone folder is staying. I really, really do. We're gonna cross our fingers on that, but I don't know that for sure. So um, also don't forget about the coordination product release that happened about a month ago, um, a little more than a month ago. So it happened in February, I guess. And these were products that coordinated with many of our celebration products. And so we had, um, and also mini catalog products, but these are only available through the end of March. So you may not have known that. Even though, um, for example, we have the Nature's Thoughts dies. Those go with the Positive Thoughts stamp set. That's in the mini catalog. But the dies are going away March 31st. So don't miss out on that. Um, Definitely want to get your, and, and that goes for um, several of these dies. The special day dies, uh, the, let's see, sending flowers dies. Um, those all go coordinate with mini catalog items. So don't, uh, don't forget that those are only available through the 31st. That's next Tuesday. So anyway, we're gonna be, um, like I said, we're gonna make, I'm gonna make a couple of cards and then I have a ton of swap cards that I have accumulated over the course of celebration. And a lot of times I feature those on my Too Cool Stamping blog, uh, but I didn't get to a lot of them and there's still a lot of great ideas out there. So I thought it'd be fun just to kind of show you those um, at the end of the video here. So if you wanted to stay tuned and see kind of a gallery of some different ideas, maybe to remind you of, of some things that you thought you might want to get before the end of celebration, 
uh, and, and just kind of give you some creative ideas. So we're gonna do that at the end a little bit different. And then instead of having a live class kit available this week, I'm gonna focus on um, every month, I do have a thank you gift that you can earn for placing an order with me. And it is uh, for the month of March, if you place a $50 order, which hmm, that's like goes along with the $50 requirement to get a celebration item. So if you order a $50, uh, at least $50 from me on my online store, and you use a special host code that I will show, show you in a minute, then I'm gonna send you a packet of rhinestones. And they're just, I'm gonna select a random pack of rhinestones. I have a lot of just basic and holiday and red rhinestones, um, the peacock rhinestones. I have a lot of different kinds of rhinestones. I even have some champagne ones that I might give out. Um, and I know that those are not available right now because we're waiting on those to come from China and we're having some shipping delays on those. So anyway, if you place an order, $50 order at least, and use the host code, I'm gonna say it right now and then I'll show it to you in a minute. It's seven D as in dog, M, six D as in dog, Z as in zoo, H seven. So I'll show you that in a minute when we turn the camera around. Um, okay, I'm gonna go ahead with our two projects. I'm gonna ask you to hold on a second, close your eyes so you don't get seasick, and I'm going to switch the camera around. Okay. Tighten up that, hello everybody. <laughs> All right. Now, let's get started with our very first project. And like I said, this one, it actually has a couple of products on it that are discontinued. We're gonna ignore that part and just focus on the part that we love. So we're gonna start with a card base that's Melon Mambo. And we'll fold that in half. Then I'm going to add in a background using that stone folder embossed texture. So this is a, let's see, it's a five by three and three quarter piece embossed with a stone texture from the Power of Hope. And we will add that with some snail adhesive. And this is, I, sh I should say, I, I totally messed up. This stone piece is Mella Mambo. The uh, card base is Lovely Lipstick. So we get this nice two-tone look. A little bit lighter, Melon Mambo on the Lovely Lipstick. That's part of the fun of this particular project. Now my next piece, unfortunately, it's a discontinued product. The beautiful Golden Honey Designer Series paper from Celebration is now gone. And I'm so sad about it but I loved it while it was here. Um, you can do a similar type of black and white design if you get the six by six neutrals designer series paper pack. You can have, it's not, won't be the same stripes, which I absolutely adore the stripes, but there's some really pretty patterns in there that you can use as a substitute. So here is our background. Next, we're gonna stamp a little sentiment and I'm using the Happy Birthday to You stamp set. This is one of my favorites from Celebration. I really fell in love with it. It's just such a sweet set. And of course, it's birthday, so it goes, you know, you can use it all the time for all kinds of birthdays of any age. So I'm going to use the Celebrate Sentiment. I'm going to ink that up in Memento Black ink. And I've already um, die cut this little whisper white die cut with the stitched so sweetly dies whoops so here's my celebrate we're going to pop that up with some dimensionals now if you went to my last thursday's class a couple of months ago back when i was having them in my house in person before we have this horrible pandemic. Uh, we made this card and we also made it with my team, a different color of this card. All right, now my favorite part of the card comes next. I use this happy birthday to you stamp set and I use the coordination re product release dies that go with it. So 
Actually, I'll just show you the dies, but these are the dies that came with it. Now, unfortunately, like I mentioned before, some of these things are already sold out. These dies were available earlier. Then they were having some problems getting back orders in from China. And now it's just going to be too late to get them in because we are running out of time on the celebration promotion. So, and they still don't have them in from China. So they're not orderable anymore. Essentially, they're sold out. The cool part is, I mean, we're missing some of those things that it's, the pedestal was really fun and there were some extra pieces in here. My favorite die was this piece right here that actually cut out the flowers. And so you can really focus on just the flowers and not necessarily have the cake. So I used that die to cut that out. Now the great thing is, yes, it's fun to have a die that's gonna make it a lot easier, but you can always use your super sharp paper snips and cut those flowers out as well. So we're, it's really something that you can still do. It just takes a little bit more time. If you were lucky enough to get the birthday dies, then you're good to go and you can do this project over and over. Okay, so I'm gonna color these in and I'm gonna use Stampin' Blends markers. I absolutely adore Stampin' Blends and I wanted to show you a little bit about how I put those together. So I'm just gonna color with the dark flirty flamingo all around the flower petals. And I'm not doing a very good job of staying in the lines. That's all right. So we'll do each of these. And then once we get all of those colored in, we'll add in a little bit of shading. I'd love to know if you use Stampin' Blends, if you already have some and you've enjoyed using those, let me know. I love Stampin' Blends. Give me an I love Stampin' Blends shout out. This is my favorite way to color right now. They're just so easy. They color in really quickly. They blend so beautifully without any kind of marker strokes. And that is why we absolutely love them. Okay, I'm going to add in, this is the light, ooh, I picked the wrong color. Actually, I was supposed to pick light, lovely lipstick to match, but this is Rococo Rose. Let's just see what that looks like. So we're gonna use that It'll look just fine. We're gonna use that to do some shading around the petals. I'm just adding a little bit underneath the petals, on the insides of the petals. And I don't even know if I'm gonna do much blending. I'm just gonna kind of let this shading go on its own. And then I'm gonna use the Granny Apple Green Light color and just fill in all of those leaves around the flowers. It's a lot easier to color these while before you do the die cuts, just to let you know. But I wanted to have the die cut all ready to go so we didn't have any, so we weren't being held up. All right, I'm doing a little bit of, let's see, light poppy parade. I'll put that in the center here and then also on these little berries. Okay, so that is our really pretty trio of blooms right there. And we'll add that to our card. A few dimensionals on here. and you may be hearing my dogs. <laughs> They're having a good time up there, upstairs. So I'll put that here. And then of course we're gonna finish up with what do we finish with? A little bit of bling. And let me see, did I bring my little, looks like I didn't bring my little piercing tool over. We'll use some paper snips here. So we're just gonna add these are the Noble Peacock rhinestones. So we'll add a couple of those. So see how I'm making do? I usually have my little paper piercer, which um, is something that I just, it's not even available anymore, but I, I use it all the time. You can also use the take your pick tool, or you can use the tips of your paper snips. A lot of people use those too. 
So there you go. And these are, I love these, um, I don't even know what color these are, but they go really well with any kind of pink. So that looks really nice. So I love this design. I mean, I love it so much. And you will see that I have many, I had to try it in many, many different colors. So this, the second one that I tried, actually I did it in this color first, uh, and I loved it. I, Bermuda Bay is one of my favorites. The lighter color is Coastal Cabana. Of course, we have the same design, and then I used Pool Party and uh, Bermuda Bay for the shading on the flowers. Uh, and then also the, um, must have been the Holiday Rhinestones, the Pool Party Holiday Rhinestones um, that are available as a carryover item from the Holiday Catalog. So these are my first two, but I was loving them so much. Catch this. I did another one in Cherry Cobbler for the card base and then Real Red for the inside. So I liked, I was trying to find a different combination of the light on the dark two-tone type of a look. So Cherry Cobbler, Real Red, and then I used Cherry Cobbler um, and Real Red for the Stampin' Blends. For the rhinestones, Mary Merlot from the Holiday Rhinestones. So you'll have to vote on which one's your favorite because I did a lot of them. Here's another. I started this one with the Calypso Coral for the background and then the lighter, do you recognize it? It might not show up on the, on the screen very well, but it's actually Grapefruit Grove. So we have that one, light and dark. Um, I used, I think I used a little bit of Mango Melody here, or maybe it was Light Pumpkin. I'm thinking Light Pumpkin with a little bit of Light Cajun Craze to really get some shading in there. I used, hmm, I think I used, there's like a Mango Melody color in the Holiday Rhinestones for that. Okay, I'm gonna start laying these out so you can see all the different ones. Next, I did Pretty Peacock for the outer, and then the inside, Mint Macaron. So I loved how those two contrasted together. And then I used the same two colors to color in those flowers. Again, um, the Noble Peacock Rhinestones for the sparkle. Of course, I had to do a purple version. Those of you who love purple will love this one. Gorgeous Grape and Highland Heather for the two-tone look. And then I used the Highland Heather. I think I might've used Purple Posy. No, I think I used Highland Heather and um, some Gorgeous Grape on top of that. And then we have the Gorgeous Grape rhinestones from the Noble Peacock. So you can see those Noble Peacock and Holiday rhinestones, they really cover a lot of colors. So I had the Bermuda Bay and Coastal Cabana so I also tried the Coastal Cabana with Pool Party for a lighter version. You can see just a little bit of a difference there. And then use those lighter Pool Party colors um, on the flowers. I did another orange version. This one is Pumpkin Pie for the, the outer. And then Ma Mango Melody for the inside. And colored with the Mango Melody and a little bit of Pumpkin Pie for the shading. Mango Melody from the Holiday Rhinestones. She just keeps going on and on. <laughs> I did Poppy Parade on the dark version here and Calypso Coral. Isn't that pretty how those go together? And um, also did the Poppy Parade and Calypso Coral for the shading. Mango Melody again for the rhinestones. That's from the Holiday Rhinestones. And I added some Mango Melody just to give some accents there to make that coordinate a little bit better. And then one more. I did 10 different color combinations. This one is Blackberry Bliss for the dark and Rich Razzleberry for the light tone. And then also colored with Blackberry Bliss and Rich Razzleberry Stampin' Blends. And I think I had to color my own. No, I did use the, I used the pink here from the, the pink rhinestones from the Noble Peacock. Um, they really just kind of blend in there. It's a kind of amazing even though they, um, I might have colored over them. They look a little bit purplish. So I might have used my Rich Razzleberry Stampin' Blends because you can make any color of, of uh, rhinestones if you just color over the top with the 
the fine tip end of the uh, stamp and blends marker so that's the one great thing about that okay what do you think which color combination do you like best I'd love to get a vote let me know which one that you like and uh, I might just send one or two out to a couple people just randomly draw a couple of names and I'll send you your favorite color so let me know what you like okay so that's our first card today the second card I have already shown on my blog, but I love it and I wanted to remind everybody about the Little Ladybug stamp set. The Little Ladybug stamp set is a stamp set that you can earn when you have a $300 workshop by the end of March, or you can also just have a $300 individual customer order. You don't have to actually have a party or a catalog workshop. Um, you can just if you have a large order, you'll be able to earn that on your own. So the Little Ladybug stamp set is available for that. And then we also have the coordinating dies that go with it as part of the coordination product release. So these are still available and um, they really make it fun to play with these Little Ladybug dies. So I wanted to show you this card that I created. And it starts with the Whisper White Thick Card Base. And we're gonna add a little strip of the So Very Vellum in the sea foam. So this is another celebration item. I love that, see that pretty pattern that's on there? And we're gonna add that. I'm gonna put, you really can't see the snail very much through the, the vellum, even though it's pretty, you know, obviously it's transparent but you can't really see that snail very much. So there is the background. Next, I've used those stitched So Sweetly dies again to create a large scalloped uh, die cut here. And then I also use that little curly Q die from the coordination uh, ladybugs dies. And that makes this really cute little, looks like a place where that little ladybug is flying. So we're gonna add that, but before we do, we need to stamp a sentiment. So we're gonna add a sentiment from that little ladybug set. You're so sweet. And we just I just did that in Memento Black. Okay, get some of my stuff over here. Next, we're going to add another little layer here across the bottom so that's just going to go about right there and i want to stamp those images i've already pre-cut pre-die cut because i had already done this for a class and i had it all set up on my stamparatus so don't forget that this is a fun way if you had to do multiple images if you want to stamp a lot of images at a time you would just put your um, your rubber stamps on your stamparatus plate put a piece of paper in your stamparatus hold it in place make sure it's nice and flush ink it up stamp it then take that piece of paper out and die cut those images so you get them uh, perfectly matched up with the stamps and then you can just go ahead and die cut a ton of blank images and use this as a template. So I'm gonna stick this in there as a template. You, when you put it back in there, make sure it's nice and flush again. And then I'm gonna add both of these die cuts in there, like a little puzzle piece. We're gonna use our Memento Black. I'm gonna move this because I'm scared I'm gonna get some ink on it. Uh, and I'm gonna actually if you put a stamp set underneath it's almost the perfect height and it's a lot easier to ink up. So that's a little tip. So I'm just gonna add a little bit of Memento Black ink and we'll close this up, press down, and there you go, perfectly stamped. So you can just have a ton of those blank images or blank dies and put them in like puzzle pieces and stamp over and over and over and have a lot of stamped images very, very quickly. I'm gonna color these in with some Stampin' Blends. 
and I'm going to use the light puddle pink for my ladybug face and also the body. And then I'm going to use, this is my light flirty flamingo. I'll add that to the wings. And this is just, I love this project because when you think of a ladybug, of course you're thinking of red and black a lot of times, or maybe a poppy parade color with black. But this is another idea for, uh, for coloring so that you don't have to make it red and black every time. I'm also going to put some little cheeks little rosy cheeks on this little ladybug and uh, oh, let's do the flower real quick so I'm going to do the leaves in mint macaron actually that's not true this is soft sea foam no it's mint macaron I sh it should be soft sea foam I picked the wrong blends I wanted it to be soft sea foam to match the soft sea foam background It'll still look really cute though. And then we'll add a little bit of shading. And we'll finish up with, this flower is just gonna be white. So I'm gonna add some flirty flamingo to the middle and maybe just a little bit of shading with that petal pink. Okay, now let's get this all assembled and see how easy this all comes together I love these dies I love I love all of the the images here too we're gonna pop this background up with a few of these dimensionals okay And I'll add that. And then we're gonna add the ladybug. So cute. She's flying right up here. I'm gonna make sure she's all on the card. And then the flower at the bottom. And it just was on the flower and it just flew off. And then we'll finish up with a couple of the gingham gala sequins and you also have the basic sequins that actually comes in the petal pink which matches nicely this one has kind of a petal pink and peachy color to it it's a, I think it's grapefruit grove is the actual color but I thought it went really nicely with the coloring on the ladybug so there's our little bit of sparkle for that one so you can find this on my blog already. I'm thinking it's from March 4th, somewhere around there. So here's that card. And then we also have, what I do with it? Oh, let me take it out of the jacket here so we don't have any glare. I did one in the Purple Posy. We have the uh, Purple Posy Vellum for the background, Purple Posy for the rectangle. And then I colored it just a little bit different with the Purple Posy wings and this I made this a nice uh, petal pink flower instead so those are the two cool versions of my little ladybug card now don't forget that also during celebration we have the starter kit available this is your last chance to get that great great deal on the starter kit uh, it's only $99 that's how much it is normally you get $125 worth of product and uh, you get a lot of extra goodies this time. So I uh, just wanted to remind you about that. You, um, you get the little mini paper trimmer. It's so, so cute. It's a little personal trimmer. Uh, I should have brought it over here for you to see it, but um, it's just, it's like barely bigger than my hand, but it's perfect for trimming photos for scrapbooks and for, to make little cards or little pieces for card making. So it's, you get a personal mini trimmer you also get a six by six paper sampler with all of these different papers in it 
Um, I don't remember how many pieces of paper you get, but it's a sampling of a lot of the different papers that you can get either in the celebration selection or the mini catalog selection right now. Then you also get an additional stamp set of your choice, your choice, and it can be any value. So there's some larger stamp sets out there um, that are closer to like $42. Rooted in Nature, I think, is one. Well Said, if you need some sentiments, that's a really awesome, versatile sentiment stamp set, and it's right around the $42 range. Um, so you can get that for free. That is a huge, huge value added to it. So it's $99 plus tax. That's all you're gonna pay. Uh, and I know some states don't even have a sales tax. So $99 plus tax, you're gonna get $125 worth of product of your choice, an additional stamp set of your choice, the paper sampler, and the mini trimmer all together. And guess what? Still free shipping on everything. So this is only available until the end of March. March 31st is your last opportunity to get this awesome, awesome deal. And don't forget, when you purchase that starter kit, you become a member of my Too Cool team and you get a 20% discount on all future orders. So it's kind of like buying into to a Costco. Uh, you're just paying a little bit now to get an awesome, awesome deal and then you're in and you can purchase everything at an awesome discount of 20%. Plus you're on my Too Cool team. We do lots of fun stuff. Uh, we have a weekly meeting. We're doing those uh, starting in April. We'll be doing those all virtually, of course, for, for right now. But um, we have lots of things going on. We have a Facebook group. Uh, we have a, a special team blog. And you'll get all kinds of training and support that you need. If you want to build a business, if you want to have flexible a uh, flexible income, you can get some help from me on that. If you're a hobbyist and you just want to enjoy that discount on your stamping items, I love that and you're very, very welcome to join my team. We, in fact, my team has probably 75 to 80% of the members of my team, probably even more than that, are hobbyists and um, don't do any selling to other people. That's absolutely fine. You can enjoy the discount on your own. So that, that's how I started a long time ago and uh, I've been doing this for a little over 16 years and I was a hobbyist for many, many years. So hobbyists are always, always welcome. If you have any questions about that, feel free to contact me. You can go to my Too Cool Stamping uh, website, TooCoolStamping.com, and click on the email link and uh, let me know you have some questions. I'll be happy to answer those for you. There's also a link that you can sign up uh, or you can join the, with the starter kit purchase. So you can go there and uh, order that kit. Okay, I wanted to, before I left today, and I know we just... We have, I don't know, 10 minutes or so. I usually go about 45 minutes. But I had so many ideas that were sent to me in the form of swap cards over the past three months. And I wanted to show those to you because I didn't get a chance to uh, to show many of these. So I wanted to let you look at some of them. And they're not in any really order of any kind. I just wanted to let you see some of these fun things. So this, let's see. We'll start out... And these all are things that feature celebration items. So we ha I have several here with the Lily Pad, uh, Lily Impressions Designer Series paper. It looks like this was cut out with the stitched rectangles dies. And I love how that's popped up with two different levels there of the paper, kind of a, a, double, um, a double image, a framed image. So that's really fun. Uh, and then also, let's see, I can't remember the name of that. The so sentimental, I believe, stamp set that is free. This, or sending you thoughts. I'm sorry, I'm getting confused. Sending you thoughts. That is a really awesome sentiment stamp set that you can get as a celebration item. And this one is from Sandy Carlson. So thanks, Sandy, for that one. This next card is by Bonnie O'Neill and also features that Lily Impressions. It features... Um, or lily pad impressions. Now I'm forgetting the names of everything. Let's look it up real quick. Lily impressions designer series paper. And then we also have the lily pad dies and the lily, lovely lily pad stamp set. That's how they created that really pretty lily there. And the coastal weave that is in the mini catalog. So if you have any questions about um, product numbers for any of these or uh, any more questions about these, feel free to, to ask them. I know I'm not giving you 
I like to give all of the information on how to put cards together, but of course I'm gonna show you so many that we can't do every single one, but I wanted to just show you a bunch of designs. So if you want to, you can just kind of freeze the video if you like a card and, um, and get inspired by that and use it for your own uh, cards. So this one is Lynn Streifert, and she used those dies, that lily pad dies, on top of the lily impressions. Again, the sending you thoughts. And then the sequins and the twine are discontinued right now. They're already sold out. Uh, here's another one. This one is Amy Combs, and I love this is a little trifold card. So all of this is with the Lily Impressions Designer Series paper and more of the dies there. Cute, cute, cute. Here is another one by Natalie Travis. And she stamped a little bit on the background. Same with the lily pad, lovely lily pad dies. And the congratulations, I believe, also from sending you thoughts. Yep. So lots of fun ideas. This one is Kathy Madsen. Really pretty one. Has that subtle texture in the background. I love that. She stamped the sentiment before she embossed it. And um, really, really pretty. She also used a lot of Wink of Stella on there. So that's really cute. And a couple more of the Lily Impressions. This is Mar uh, Monica Gilberti. Gib yeah, Gilberti. I don't know if I said that right. But this is another pretty one. Again, sending you thoughts. And then this one is Ruth Bingle. And she stamped a nice uh, background there. Add some water droplets. The clear enamel dots. And this is actually stamped on vellum. I love that. That's really pretty. Okay, how about some other things from our celebration catalog? So we talked today about the Happy Birthday to You uh, stamp set. This is one where it's used along with some stamp and blends there. And one of the um, poppy dies and also sending you thoughts on there. And this one is from Patty Chanel. The next one is Laura Bartow. She used that uh, stone folder. She it looks like she inked up the stone folder directly on the folder and then put your put the piece of whisper right in there and then ran it through the die cutting machine and it transfers that ink. Isn't that really pretty? I love that background. The sentiments from happy birthday to you. Of course, the pedestal that's from the birthday dies that are currently not available. They are sold out. Um, another one is Ruth Bingle, another one from her. She used the country floral for the background, some of the uh, designer series paper in the in colors, seaside spray, metallic, shimmery ribbon, and then she had used those dyes to pop up the, the blooms on that birthday cake. Happy birthday to you. And again, you can, you can do that with your own, you know, a little bit of fussy cutting. Really pretty. And then one more from Happy Birthday to You from Rose Ward. So again, she um, she used the Parisian floor, uh, Flourish designer or designer series paper, the Parisian Flourish embossing folder, some of the crinkle ribbon, white crinkle ribbon, Happy Birthday to You, best dressed designer series paper, uh, the the label color, what's called label me fancy, I believe. Both the Label Me Fancy and Label Me Lovely are currently uh, non-orderable just because they're kind of hung up on the shipping from China. So hopefully that will be rectified pretty soon. All right, a few more here with a couple other things. This is from Marissa Alvarez and she used the Gangs All Mirror stamp set. I love that one. I didn't use that one nearly enough. I, I, have found I get to the end of a promotion and I'm always like oh man I really want to use that and I didn't get a chance to yet but I love what she did here she has all the cacti on the background there and I just love that from all of us a little little party hat and then those sequins are already sold out the papers from the birthday bonanza suite okay another one from the gangs all mirror Janice Waitman 
created this pretty card. Now the background is the golden honey paper, which we just found out was sold out. Uh, but it really has that you could use any any designer series paper with this really simple design. I love that. And this is with this um, stitched nested labels dies. Okay, another stamp set that we can get with the celebration. This is Judy Garza used the stamp set in the back here. And it's right here. Here we go. So it's called Thoughtful Blooms. And you can also, that's a $50 level one item. And then the Small Bloom Punch is a level two item. So she used both of those. Uh, to stamp this really pretty pot. I love how she made this pot out of a little piece of smoky slate and just use that little um, decorative piece right there to make a decorative pot. And she stamped all the blooms, colored those, um, double stamped a couple of those to make a pretty texture. She used the so, Stitch So Sweetly rectangles. If you don't have those Stitch So Sweetly dies, I'm telling you what, they are popular and they are everywhere so i love those okay um i have lots more so stay tuned okay well, next we have marcia henry created this one and this is one of the coordinated coordination product release dies so this is the sending flowers dies you can see that here in the corner and it goes with the um it goes with the Sending You Thoughts stamp set. So I love how she used the, um, what's it called? Pleased as Punch designer series paper. That's another one of the coordination release products. She used that for some raindrops in the background and then these pretty flowers die cut. And she even went through and popped all of those up to give it a little bit of texture. Love that. Oh, the other thing she did, she used this crinkle ribbon. I don't know if you can see, but she actually stamped right on that with, um, I'm not sure what the texture was that she used, but she stamped on it to give it a little bit of color. So that's kind of fun. All right, another Sending You Thoughts. This one is from Pam Bryan, and she put the Poppy uh, Peaceful Moments Poppy Parade paper back there uh, behind it. That's really pretty. And some of our Valentine set but you can use that any time of year. So lucky to have a friend like you. Doesn't need to be Valentine's, right? Some real red ribbon, or real red um, rhinestones. Those are currently a celebration item that you can earn with a $50 order too. Another sending you thoughts. This one is by France Martin. And she it looks like she sponged or brayered on a background and then did the pretty peacock over the top of it really really cute i love how she used all the pearls on all the flower centers that really gives it some fun shine uh, we mentioned the please as punch paper this is from jessica brigden and she used the hearts with the heart punch to um and that paper let's see if i can find that here we go here's the pleased as punch paper and um, so you have the hearts that come on that already pre-printed. You don't have to stamp anything. You just punch that out with a heart. So it doesn't have to be for, for Valentine's Day. It can be any time of year, especially this time of, um, in our country. It's just a great time to let people know that you love them and send them a little handmade card. Here's another way that you can use those hearts um, to, actually this has, this is, doesn't, I was thinking it had the please as punch, or yeah, please as punch paper, but, um, oh, this is, I guess, this isn't stamped. Okay, so this is please as punch paper, and this is just the basic gray, but I love how she used it for a bride and groom. This is also from France Martin. Really cute. Okay, next we have Laura Bartow again. This is with the po Positive Thoughts stamp set and the Nature's Thoughts dies are the coordinating product. So you'll still be able to get Positive Thoughts as far as all the images, but if you get that stamp set, you're gonna want these dies and they're only available until the end of the month. So that one's really cute. This is the Timeless Tropical uh, Suite with the Designer Series paper there and also the braided 
uh, linen or braided ribbon there, burlap. And forget the names of everything. You have to have to excuse me. Okay, this one is Marsha Garbanti again, and this one is let's see. We have it uses the special birthday dies. Whoops, right here, and it goes with the special days, no, special someone stamp set. So that's what, what she used to cut out all these pieces. It was the special days dies, and those are still available. Again, this is the Stitch So Sweetly rectangles. You need it, you totally need it. <laughs> so that one's really cute. Um, another one with that same raccoon, and then they paired it with the Please Just Punch and the umbrella punch, and then the please is punch uh, stripes in the background, I love that. And this one is Jessica Br Brigden again. So, so cute. And here's one more, I really love this one. This is nice and clean and simple. And this is Laura Milligan. Again, the special days, dies, and a special someone stamp set. And I'll be adding all of the, you can go to my uh, website, twocoolstamping.com. I have all the links to all the different flyers that have all of the, the product numbers that you need. Um, this one is Natalie Travis. Again, that golden honey paper, not available. It's already sold out. Uh, and also, I wanted to show you this because it's really cute. Uh, the Label Me Lovely and the Label Me Fancy punches are on the non-orderable list right now. Uh, but they will be back, I think. Um, they're good through the end of May, so you will be getting those back. But I did wanna show you that because it's a super cute card. All right, how about the Tags in Bloom stamp set? That is from the second release. And so I'll get out that one. So this one's so, so cute. One of my favorites it is a larger stamp set so it is a level two celebration item and you'd need to spend a hundred dollars in order to earn that so here is one from judy garza i love that she used some silver embossing and of course the uh, i just mentioned the lovely or the label me lovely uh punch is currently not orderable but it, it should be back in stock at some point so I love that, it's really simple and very, very pretty. Another one, this is from Dina Rico. And I love these colors. These are some of my favorites, Coastal Cabana and Highland Heather. She used that really pretty striped ribbon and some of the enamel uh, gems, glitter gems for that. Cute. All right, the next one, Linda Bowen and I like how she punched out the inside of this and then popped it up a little kind of a recessed window. That's really cute. She used the Soberry Vellum on the back and then also with a butterfly punch and that butterfly duet punch, don't forget that is currently a celebration item for free with a $50 purchase. The other thing I like about this card is it's not a traditional opening. It's actually just a little bit smaller than the background so it's um, mounted on just a quarter sheet of cardstock. Super cute. Another one with that stamp set. This is from Janet Hol Holmes. And she used the uh, flourishing, what's it called? Why am I not remembering? My brain's having a blank. Flowering foils, specialty paper. You can get that with a $50 purchase. She used that as the background and then the tags in bloom popped up on the front. Cute, cute, cute. And a little embossing too, silver embossing. Uh, there, another similar card, oh shoot. I'm not sure who made this. I lost the little tag for who made it and I apologize. If it's you, please tell me. Uh, but this is also that same flowering foils. It looks like it was inked in um, the petal pink to match that petal pink matte underneath and then popped up on some um, black on a black background with the tags in bloom again. So cute. Um, okay, this one, Lynn Feldkamp, also with the flowering foils. She used the purple posy and 
soft sea foam stamp and blends to color in that pretty pattern and then the tags in bloom for a little sentiment there and then this one Renee Conkey she um, did the same kind of a thing she used the pool party and it looks like maybe the granny apple green color for the flowers little friend sentiment. I love how she has a little tag there. It almost looks like a pair of jeans with a Levi sticker sticking out there. I love that. Really, really cute. Okay. I got this card uh, from my assistant, Peggy Tassler. She used the Woven Threads designer series paper, and she just cut corner to corner of a, you know, a four by five and a quarter sheet, corner to corner, and then she had enough triangles for two cards. So the first card had the paper on the top and the bottom, and the second card had the paper on the two sides. Then she used that flowering foils, just cut out one of the flowers. She sponged on some Rococo Rose and some Granny Apple Green, or maybe it might be Pear Pizzazz, and then did a little bit of copper embossing for the So Invited sentiment on that. I love that, and a little bit of sub, uh, subtle texture in that background too. I love how that turned out. Thanks, Peggy. Um, let's see couple more and then we'll be done so the rise and shine stamp set is still available however the thing that makes me sad is I believe that the coffee um, cup of coffee can't remember the name of it now the dies that go with it cup of cheer cup of cheer dies are sold out and that makes it I guess that means it's not coming back in the annual catalog so just know that if you get the stamp set, which is a free stamp set with a $100 purchase, you would have to do some fussy cutting if you don't already have those dies. But I did wanna show you these cards because they're so cute. Melissa Alvarez created this card. And I just love, she popped up, she had to do a little fussy cutting anyway for the flower, but she popped that up and, um, and made that. And this, I think, is the Birthday Bonanza stamp set. It's from that suite. Really, really cute. All right, this next one is from Kelly Atchison. I love how she stacked all of those cups up. And I know if you're gonna be fussy cutting, it does take a little bit of extra to cut out that handle. You wouldn't necessarily need to cut the handle out, but um, really the only way to do it if you don't have the dies already is like an X-Acto knife, or if you have a, like a brother scan and cut, that might help you out there. So that's really cute. And she used, um, if you have any of that Lily Impressions paper, that's what this background is. There's a lot of, of um, on the opposite side of all of the abstract impressionist uh, pretty patterns, there's some kind of a, it looks like a canvas texture that was painted on and it makes a really pretty background for all kinds of cards. And then the last Rise and Shine one I have, this is from Barb Milliken, just kind of a simple, Let's hang out soon on FaceTime, <laughs> right? Not next to each other, six feet apart. And then a couple more using the well-dressed. This is Monica Gilberti again. She used that argyle texture in the background, the stitched shapes, dies, and then all the different pieces she stamped, all the different images, that is that stamp set up here here we go there's no sentiments in this one so she needed to get a sentiment I'm not sure which one that comes from right off the top of my head but um, it might be like itty bitty birthdays it's probably too big for that and she used the country club argyle paper so that is one and then I really love this one it's I've never seen anything quite like it uh, it's by Laura Barto. and this would be so fun for Valent or not Valentine's Father's Day one of those special occasions, right? Uh, she stamped the well-dressed along the side. She stamped the, the collar and the tie separately. And look how this opens. So you can see that the card base is only to here. And then the white is attached to this little flap that's sticking out. And then another navy piece is added to the front of that white flap. And then in the middle, of course, whoops, we have the argyle embossed texture, just a little V cut out of that. The tie goes on top. 
And then these pieces are just folded back. You could score it first at an angle and then fold those back. I just loved how she put that together. I've not seen anything quite like that. And I had wanted to do this as a last Thursday's card uh, project for my last Thursday's class from last night that we didn't have because we don't have local classes right now, but I just loved how that turned out. So thanks Laura Bartow for sending that swap. All right, everybody, that's all I have. So that's about it for celebration. I won't be doing any more live classes on that because it does end on Tuesday. I can't believe it. It seems like it is a big long promotion, but uh, when it comes down to the final few days, it's kind of sad. It's kind of sad that all these items are gonna be gone. So don't miss out, go to twocoolstamping.com check out these flyers again make sure that you have all of your favorites that you want before they're gone for good on Tuesday and remember if you place at least a $50 order and use the host code 7dm6 dzh7 uh, that is going to get you a random set of rhinestones I just have several different rhinestones that I have extras of and I'll send you out either basic rhinestones the um, this is the Noble Peacock, the Holiday Rhinestones, or even the Champagne Rhinestones that are no, not available currently. They're on back order. Um, I'll send you out something like that as a little thank you gift for placing an order. Um, I think that's all for this week. I look forward to talking to you next week. I'm going to have some exciting new things. Uh, we have a new promotion coming up starting in April, and we're going to be featuring some items from that. So stay tuned for that information. Again, if you want to place an order, twocoolstamping.com. You can just go there and click on the Shop Now link. That'll get you to my online store. All right, everybody. Thank you so much for spending time with me today. I hope that you are enjoying stamping. Hope that you maybe are stamping with your family even. And I hope that you stay well. I'll talk to you really soon. Bye-bye.